Whoa, 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 whoa. Young lady, may I ask your name? Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger. That looked like riding and the best mobile game. As you guys saw on the intro, Honkai Star Rail has revealed a new character during the Game Awards who goes by the name Asheron. And my very first impression of that character is... Is this Honkai Star Rail's version of Raiden? So, in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna react to the Japanese version of Honkai Star Rail's TGA candidacy video instead of the English one. The reason I'm reacting to the Japanese version instead of the English version is because the voice acting in Japan normally when a voice actor has been chosen to cast as a character that character will be voiced by that particular actor regardless of whichever series he or she is in for example um Morikawa Toshiyuki san who is the Japanese voice for Dante in Devil May Cry and he's also the Japanese voice for um Leon Kennedy in Resident Evil and let's not forget he is also well known for being the Japanese voice for Sephiroth in Final Fantasy 7. For example, right, if Sephiroth is in a Smash game or in any other collaboration games and whatnot, right, Morikawa san will provide the voice for Sephiroth, regardless of whichever game or series Sephiroth is in. Same case goes for Sawashiro Imiyuki san who is the de facto voice actress for different versions of Mihoyo's um, Raiden such as Raiden Mei from Honkai Impact 3rd and A or should I say her or should I go with her official name the Raiden Shogun from Genshin Impact and so I'm gonna fire this um, trailer up I'm not gonna waste try I'm not gonna waste I'm not gonna waste any more of your time and let's see if Ashron is voiced by Sawashiro Miyuki san or not. Hoshizora no Guwa Shu, Mada Oboite Rukashira. Konjak no Monogatari ga Katarare, Najimi ga Aru no ni, Sune ni Atarashisa o Motarasu. So just so you know, this is the exact same trailer as shown in the Game Awards. Bellow Bob. Turbo. You know what's kind of surprising? Caleb was shown in the... Uh, in majority of the, the Game Awards, or anything that is Jeff Keighley related. While in the main trailers, on the other hand, the, the female main character is, sh is shown instead. Right. Yeah, it's a That's definitely um Shawashiro Miyuki-san's voice. So considering the fact that it is uh Shawashiro Miyuki providing the voice for Asheron, it is safe to assume that Asheron is Honkai Star Rail's version of Raiden. So while I was reacting to this uh, this trailer during the Game Awards, right, I wasn't really sure whether if this really is um, Honkai Star Rail's version of Raiden or not. Because even though she has the, the, the purple hair and whatnot, right, the hairstyle is totally different from what I remember. From what I remember in um, Honkai, uh, in Genshin and Honkai Impact, 
even though I have not played uh, Honkai Impacted before, but I kind of know how Raiden May looks like, where she doesn't cover her her, her eyes with her with her hair, because normally her normally both her eyes are open, no 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 hair covering her no no hair covering her eyes, but over here right, part of her hair is is closed. So I think the Honkai is Honkai Starville is giving. Um, Asheron, the the punk rock kind of a vibe, I guess. I'm pretty, yeah, definitely uh, going something uh, different over here. Oh, oh and I would mean, I'm not really a character uh, designer or some kind, right? But uh, I can pretty much um, guess that Honkai Story Team they are going for a a punk rock kind of vibe for for Asheron, which is. Um, Honkai Star Rail's um, version of Raiden and then myself of uh, Damn Okay, focus, focus, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry I'm a guy, okay, I can't help myself Okay, stop it So, okay, uh, okay as you can see on right here, she is definitely wielding a blade. Okay, you know what? I'll just I'll just back for a wee bit, uh, a wee bit, a wee bit back. I'll just I just meet this damn thing. Okay, she is definitely a wielding a very a very long a long sword right over here, and yeah, the the on the right arm, the on her right arm right, the design kind of rem resembles um Raiden Shogun's right. Um, in in some way, and and uh, yeah, the, the the design is very kind of resembles a Raiden Shogun in some way. Where her left um her left arm it has a, like a, a left loading, as you can see right over here, right. The her the left hand side of her of her arm is fully open, and as a matter of fact, right, yeah, even the back of her the one part of her arm is fully uh, wide open. While the right hand side of her of her arm is fully cloth as you can see right over here. Yeah. You guys can see it? Yeah, it's, it's fully cloth right over here. But on the left hand side of her arm it's fully it's fully exposed. While over here on the other hand right, it's the other way around, but it's practically the, the similar design as the Raiden Shogun. The only difference is that the Raiden Shogun is building a pole arm. Except when uh, during the moments when she uh, when she uses her bankai, then she uses her or should I say when she uses her elemental burst, which is the uh, I forgot the official name. So, but yeah, when she uses her elemental burst, she uses a sword instead. Over here on the other hand, right, she uses like a ridiculously long sword or some kind. Again, I don't know what's the official name of the sword. So I'm just I'm just genuinely curious. What, how her gameplay is ah, okay if you have close here's a, a closer look yeah she's reading a ridiculously long katana so it's safe to assume that the path that should that should be in is either uh destruction the path of the hunt or either the path of um erudition erudition um the path of destruction is is more like a a balanced type of a character from what I understand. The hunt, the path of the hunt on the other hand is practically a single target um, character while the path of erudition is more of an AOE type kind of a character from what I understand. So she could be either one of these uh, three uh, kind of character and and I must say her this the yeah she, Honkai is really is really giving her the the punk rock kind of a vibe from from the way I see it. Well, Oyovers, guess what? You got me convinced in um, getting my hands on Ashron. Only question is when is Ashron gonna be playable? Only time will tell. 
Well, that's about it for now. If you guys enjoy my reaction, I do appreciate a thumbs up on this video. And feel free to comment down below on, on what are your thoughts on Asheron, her design, and how her gameplay is going to be. Anyway, my name is AJ, and I will see you guys next time.